Hi, I'm functional health coach Vince Pitstick, and this is MMU Education. Hey, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you would, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a video drop. Where the hell is the male birth control? We hear so many problems about female birth control, long-term on women, all the side effects that can happen with it, and yet still, we don't have a male infertility drug, or maybe we already do. So right now, 40% of pregnancies in the United States are unplanned. Um, and also another interesting fact is that male testosterone levels across almost all demographics have increasingly gone down up to 15 to 20% uh, in certain demographics uh, over the last 30 years. And then also we see more and more challenges for females in the options for their reproductive health. So I see a lot of issues here that may be able to be solved or significantly improved with a tool that is already on the market. Now, now there are already male infertility drugs that are underway in clinical trials. Uh, one of the first ones is DMAU. Um, that is dimethadrone undecanoate. Say that 17 times fast. It did pass phase one clinical trials. However, that means it is still far away. But is there potentially an alternative solution that we can use now that men can also use to enhance their lives, increase their vitality, bring out the best aesthetic self in a safe fashion? That's why we're testing my sperm count today. I believe, yes, there is, and it is male testosterone. So BHRT, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Um, this use in appropriate small amounts can maintain males' testosterone levels and also for up to 70% of men bring their sperm count to zero, allowing the male to bear some of the burden for reproductive health. Leaving the male to bear more of the burden is something that makes sense for the future, considering that women deal with more chronic disease than ever, particularly in unexplained conditions that many people are worried have to do with long-term use of birth control. It's no coincidence that over the last 70 years has been a really big trial and experiment where almost every single woman within fertile age has tried to use a hormonal-based birth control for at least one year. We've never had a human population use something to that degree um, without massive long-term testing. And by the way, they keep changing the chemistry of the, you know, the synthetic progesterone and estrogen uh, in different forms. Uh, and they've been doing it over time. So we really don't have a good 30, 50 year look at what it's like um, for people to be on these medications, but we do with testosterone. And so that's where it gets interesting. And I feel today we're gonna prove the point most people don't realize that if they use even just small amounts of testosterone replacement therapy, very safe amounts, I take about 100 to 120 milligrams a week, which is a very, very small dose for a male. It's because I have a great healthy lifestyle and exercise regimen, and so I don't need to take a lot. So the problem is, is that most men don't have readily available options for testing their sperm count. But recent technology has changed all that. You know, usually if you have to go to the doctor's office, it can be quite expensive and a bit of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest with you. Hey, have you ever felt like you've been getting limited or bad advice from maybe your OB or endocrinologist or one of your doctors and don't know why you feel bad and are looking for better options, particularly in the world of hormonal health? Well, I've launched our own medical endocrinology organization called Vital Med. Vital Med has the fundamental belief that we need to listen to you first and provide you with an arsenal of options to make sure that we get the best outcomes for you, but we have your interest in mind. No more just going to the doctor being shoved pills or the wrong kind of hormones or being put on the wrong protocols and then not getting the result that you want. Vital Med has a team of doctors, nurse practitioners, and nurses who really listen and have the up-to-date knowledge to give you the best options for your care with great results. Check us out, vitalmed.com. All right, whenever I talk to males about fertility, it's always a struggle because they're like, oh, it's such a pain in the ass to get my test done. You gotta set it up with a doctor, you gotta go into this uncomfortable lab or this office, and then you gotta create a sample uh, in a very uncomfortable environment, and then you gotta set it out, and you gotta wait a few days for the results. Well, that's all done, so guys can check their fertility 
uh, early and often throughout a fertility process. If they're trying to get pregnant, we're gonna make sure that uh, they are infertile so we don't have any surprises. So companies like Spermio have created this amazing technology that you can do from the comfort of your own home, which is what I did, and I wanted you guys to check it out with me. So it's really nice, it comes all boxed up one kit, it's really nice, only $79 uh, for two samples. Um, it comes with your instruction manual, obviously. It comes with your pipettes for the solution for the sperm. It also comes with your microscope slide, so you can get a good look at your sperm, which we'll do at the end. Uh, and believe it or not, here is the microscope. So yeah, it comes, you can just plug it right in. One thing that you should know, uh, it does not come with a plug, just a USB insert. So you might wanna make sure that you've got one of these with you, uh, a wall adapter. So yeah, so everything kind of comes super easy, super clean. You download first the app and the app will walk you through the entire process of first gaining the collection. Uh, second, putting it in a solution and then putting it um, on your slide and then being able to use the scanner to get actually a sperm score so you can see how high your utility is and how it ranks, but also it'll give you a picture of your sperm so you can see how modal it is, how much it moves. And so it's an interesting extra look at your fertility in a level that I don't think people have ever had before and it's a really cool experience. And so the entire process only takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, getting your solution prepared, putting it on the slide, and then letting it be analyzed uh, in the analyzer. That whole process uh, takes, all again, only about 10 to 17 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, the longest part of it, maybe just getting the sample. Just the sample itself, once you've got it, putting it in the solution, uh, then putting it on the slide. Uh, each one of those takes about three to five minutes. Then it's about 10 minutes to analyze, and then you've got your video footage and your score. All right, we got our sample. Uh, we've applied the solution and now we have to wait for that solution to, to liquefy. So Spermio has created this kind of fun uh, sperm quiz that you can take while you wait for 10 minutes. All right, once you have your sample, it's pretty simple of filling the slide till the triangle is completely full and then simply inserting in the animal. That's it, you're done. Let it sit, gotta wait 10 minutes for our results. All right, everybody, so the uh, scanner has been um, analyzing my sample and the results are in. Again, only with a modest amount of anywhere between 75 to 110 milligrams of testosterone a week, which is very modest. Um, I have officially achieved a motility score of less than 10. Wah, wah, wah. So, Again, my motility scores are very low. And then you can see actually on the screen, usually when you look at that screen, you would see moving sperm. There is no moving sperm on my screen. In fact, there is almost no sperm on the screen all together. So this is my second test. I recommend that people take at least two tests just to validate the first test. And sure enough, I got the exact same scores, which is great for me currently where I'm at in my life. Testosterone for up to seven out of 10 men is a real option um, for reproductive production. And I really suggest that you, know, you and your husband or if the husband's watching this, if you yourself, take a look at this information and maybe think twice about how you look at uh, testosterone therapy. Um, and its safety profile, weighing the risk and the benefit, although I would argue that there's very minimal risk when you have safe use and a healthy lifestyle, and maybe talk to your partner about this option uh, as opposed to potentially other hormonal-based birth control that women would have to deal with. All right, so the results are in. My poor sperm are non-existent. I currently am infertile, but for anybody at home, don't worry. An easy protocol of using some HCG uh, and the removal of testosterone will make me fertile all over again. Many studies have shown that. So it's a very easy process and very low risk of infertility, like you might see with the reversal of the vasectomy. So in conclusion, for all you ladies out there that are on birth control and you're like, I have no other options, um, or maybe the males have been talking about low energy, I'm not getting results in the gym, you could solve potentially two birds with one stone using uh, a source like our team at Vital Med or another endocrinology specialist 
that can get you bioidentical replacement, hormone, testosterone, being able to take care of two things. One, increasing your health and vitality, and at the same time, taking care of reproductive health decisions. Hey, thanks for watching the content. If you wanna see more, check out any one of these videos here. Thanks.